I can't wait to dig in. See all that steam? Oof. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Felicia and I have the I have videos on YouTube that are food related, motherhood or lifestyle and I post every Wednesday and Friday. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so you get notified every time I post a video. I also have a daily vlogging channel which I'll link down in the description box. On today's video, I'm making an uh, overnight crock pot with my husband. It is morning, it's 8.30 because uh, he goes to work uh, overnight. So he wants to prepare it now so it's ready for, for his breakfast at work. <laughs> but I'll be eating it tomorrow. So this is what we're using here, crock pot, and we're going to be putting it on for 6 to 8 hours. Alright, so let's jump right into the video. To start, we spray our crock pot with this Pam cooking spray all over so none of it gets stuck. And then we get a cup, one cup, and we have three cups of oatmeal. They're steel cut oats oatmeal. So we put three cups in the crock pot. Next we put three cups of water. You can use filtered water or you can use water from your tap. So we're using three cups of water. Next is is uh, coconut milk. You can use any kind of milk that's in your fridge, but we like to use this coconut milk. Um, I like how it's dairy free. It still tastes amazing together like the coconut and the oatmeal. Very good taste. Add five tablespoons of butter to the crock pot, or you could add less, it's up to you. Time for sugar. Add half a cup of brown sugar or white sugar, whatever you prefer. Add your cinnamon. We use one teaspoon of cinnamon. You can use less or you can use more. I found this was just the right amount, but if you want more, then go right ahead with adding that. And we just sprinkle it around so it gets everywhere. We used one teaspoon of nutmeg. Next is one teaspoon of vanilla extract. This part is optional. We added chia, hemp, and raisins to our oatmeal just to spice it up. We added two tablespoons of chia to our oatmeal. And three tablespoons of hemp hearts to this crock pot dish as well. For every three cups of hemp seeds is 10 grams of protein. Next we add five tablespoons of raisins. This was just amount that we thought would be good enough, but you guys can add more or less depending how much raisins you want in your dish. So this is the finished look before it's cooked. Now we just have to stir it all together, blend it so it's all blended together and then the next step of course is to set your crock pot timer we're setting it for eight hours on a low temperature so it's been eight hours now and this is what the overnight oatmeal looks like it's very steamy looks delicious so like i said that is what it looks like 
I'll just uh, show you. It's very creamy and delicious, and I can't wait to dig in. See all that steam? Oof. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed of how we make our oatmeal in the slow cooker overnight. Uh, if you guys haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so you get notified whenever I post a video. And leave a comment down below of how you guys make your oatmeal. And I'm interested in any other ways that you guys make it or if you guys do like a pumpkin spice or a banana bread or some kind of dessert in your oatmeal. Let me know you guys, your guys' ideas and suggestions and I'm going to try them out for sure. I have to have oatmeal like every day. I try making different kind of oatmeals. Uh, my favorite oatmeal will probably be oatmeal raisin or blueberries, raspberries in with the oatmeal. So again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye now.